Hey, we got merch. We got notebooks, mugs, t-shirts, all kinds of stuff. So long as it has one of these five designs on it. Check everything out at dugons.redbubble.com. The time of heroes was over. It was the time of not quite so heroes. Join the adventures of the Cephalus Squad, a bunch of nerdy ass marine biologists playing Dungeons and Dragons on Dugons and Sea Dragons. Hey Aaron, um, I was just talking to Francis about your last video and you'll laugh. Uh, apparently, Callie's not a blonde. All right, Buster, that's it. You want a special order? Then you make it. I quit. No. Okay, guess I'm doing this then. Hi, I'm Andrew Kornblatt. I am an ocean and climate science communications gunslinger, basically. And I am also the co-host and producer of the podcast Ocean Science Radio that brings you the latest, greatest, and deepest stories in the ocean. I also play Marmo and, later, another character in Dugongs and Sea Dragons. So, where were we? Ah, when we last left the Cephalo Squad, they were in the sewers. Hey guys. Marigold! Marigold! Have, like, you've been in the sewers this entire time? The Cephalo Squad decided to help the Rat Lady get her son back. And after some very spooky encounters, including a room filled with dead animals with coins sewn shut in their mouths, and pretending to be a rat demon god thing, the crew finally managed to succeed, and by the time they get out, it's time to set sail. While out at sea, the crew is hit by a sudden squall. As the temperature drops and the rain picks up, something hits the side of the ship, and Callie and Leo are knocked overboard into the churning sea. What did I miss? Still a day and a half away from Capelin, the crew is stuck in a small town of Bayzite until the Queen's desire can be repaired. Kelly immediately starts introducing the crew to the locals and meets two scientists from the Aranax Museum of Natural History, named Claude Louis Navier and George Stokes, who lost their data when they were attacked by pirates on the reef. Remember, kids, always back up your data. With nothing to do but wait while the ship gets its much-needed repairs, the Cephalo Squad agrees to help. After a lovely long rest to get their hit points back up and some light burglary, the crew hires a guide to their boat and heads out onto the water. Ta-da! Well, according to this map we stole... Uh, acquired? Uh, acquired, very right. We should be above one of the wrecks now. I wouldn't recommend getting out of the boat. Please, we're professionals. This is a great opportunity to talk about our sea dragonborn Leo and his countershading. So, like a lot of marine species, Leo has a darker coloring on the top of his body and lighter colors on his stomach so that if he's viewed from above, he camouflages with the dark water under him or... If he's viewed from below, he blends in with the light above. Science! Just as the crew goes for a tempting pearl on the reef below, the best character in the entire... The best character in the entire podcast emerges from the deep... The best character? Really, Aaron? Don't you play an actual character? O okay, okay, okay. A massive coral drake attacks with hundreds of thousands of babies spawned in its mouth. There's a sea dragon! Told you not to get out of the boat. So, after consulting the map again, the crew decides to try searching a wreck that isn't guarded by a giant sea monster. Deep below the waves, the wreck of the pirate ship lies broken on the sea floor. So, 
the crew gets to looting. And looting. And more looting. Finally, with the research notes in hand, they head back to town where Marmo decided to visit the library to learn a little bit more about the convocation. Hi, are, are you one of those visiting adventurers? Yeah, we are! You know who the real hero of the party is? Like, <laughs> you kids have fun. Before you go, I wanted to give you this. So we can talk, even if you're far away. Uh, thanks. So if you want to learn Inferno, <laughs> is I would like a drink, please. Um, okay, but uh, how do you differentiate <laughs> from <laughs> When the crew at last docks in Capelin, the Cephala Squad learns that Captain Stommel, the man they've sailed all the way out here to find, has been taken prisoner by pirates. So here's the plan. We set up a big ship like it's full of crew to lure the pirates out, and bam, we take them by surprise. Unfortunately, the plan works a little too well. My friends, you have been blessed. Soon ye will see Sharn O'Goleth. <coughs> uh, guys? Will Carl, Marmo, and Lucian be able to survive at sea long enough to rescue the others all on their own? Find out next time on Dugongs and Sea Dragons. So that covers our podcast episodes 10 through 20. If you like this, you should try listening to the show. We just started Season 2, so now is a great time to start. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and we will see you all next time.